The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we have two brand new legends in the game. Definitely going to try and pull some packs for these guys. They're a left tackle named Tony Baselli, who was pretty damn good for the Jaguars back in the day. And then we also have a, a legend that I would consider to be somebody that a lot of people kind of disrespect or just forget about. And that's Paul Kraus. Now, uh, I believe that he is one of the all-time leaders in interceptions, if I remember correctly. Uh, definitely a very, very good safety for the Minnesota Vikings back in the day. This card is going for quite a few coins. Cheapest one right now on the auction house is the non-limited edition, and that is going for 465000 The limited edition, which gives you an additional chemistry, does add another about, what, 60, 65,000 coins to it. So it goes up pretty expensive when you go for the to the limited edition. Now, the base one is going to give you some good stuff on it as well uh, so you don't have to go with the, the higher up version if you take a look at this it does contain the pick specialist chemistry which is going to give you plus one for acceleration catching and play recognition um, so that's pretty nice now, if you decide to go up to the one that is more expensive, and that's the limited edition version of this card, it does contain the hot hands chemistry, which gives you an additional ability to catch the ball if your user controlling him. Now, what I will say about this, in, in my opinion, this one is actually not particularly worth it to do. Let's go to the, a, a higher up one here. Um... And the reason for it is because, at least for me, I haven't had a lot of problems with my users actually dropping interceptions in this game. Typically, when I get there, regardless of how good my player, not shouldn't say regardless, but for the most part, if I even have like a linebacker or something like that, they pretty much will catch the ball if I'm user controlling them. So in my opinion, the ability to have a higher catching when you're user controlling the player... I don't really think it's that important, and not to mention a lot of people don't typically user control their strong safety. So to me, this is one that's probably not worth the upgrade to go to the limited edition, but for some people it very well might be. Now, again, the other card here that we have is Tony Boselli, and he is a left tackle. So this card is one that I think, I mean, it's it's definitely a good left tackle. I don't think it's going to be one of the elite left tackles, like the top end guys going forward, just because I don't think that the attributes that has are that amazing if you take a look at it it does contain the zone blocker chemistry uh, but if you take a look at like its strength is good uh, the acceleration is decent speed is decent but like if you go down here and take a look at the run blocking it's only an 88 now 88 isn't bad by any means. It's certainly acceptable at this point in the game, but it's not anything spectacular. I, I would definitely expect that I would get a 90 or above out of a legend left tackle. So it's a little bit disappointing, especially considering how most people like to run to the outside in this year's Madden game. So uh, I think it's a little bit unfortunate given that our left tackle is not going to have amazing run blocking, but his pass blocking is a 92, so that's very, very good. Um, and then obviously, guys, there is the upgraded limited edition version of this card, which contains the edge block chemistry and that is actually going to give you additional boost to strength awareness and pass block so he can definitely do a good job of edge protecting I don't think there's any question about that Boselli was very very good at that um, so again two very very nice cards here uh, not the most exciting legends I have to admit I think that they're both good, but I'm not like, I don't think that the market's going to shift substantially because of these two players. So if you're somebody that's been holding on to other legends at these positions, I wouldn't expect that they're going to drop substantially because of these two players. So don't be too worried about that. But with that being said, guys, let's go in here and let's open up some packs. We do have a legendary pack that we can potentially pull here. You can actually pull three of them with coins, it looks like. Now, this guarantees you one gold or better legend player. So they're a little bit more descriptive this, this week about the legendary packs. I don't think Think that they actually said that specifically I think it said Garen's he's one legend player last week which is a little bit vague because I think most of us view legend players as being elites so when we bought these things we were like why the hell are they only golds but you know it is what it is at least they're being a little bit more descriptive this week so maybe we'll open up one of those I don't know I kind of think they're kind of a ripoff if you don't get a legend uh, an elite legend so you know that's definitely something to think about but we are definitely going to open up some pro packs here so let's hop into that 
we'll try and pull one of these elite limited edition versions of these players. Um, there are also some other decent players that we could potentially pull today. I'm trying to remember. I'm, tr I'm trying to remember if Andre Johnson is still in packs. I'm pulling this on Saturday afternoon. I don't think he's still in packs, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, there is a career tribute Andre Johnson that was released. Um, so that I mean, it's definitely a pretty damn beastly card. I'm trying to remember exactly. I'm gonna quick scroll through here. I don't think he's still in packs, but anyway, uh, we do get a Tony Boselli collectible, so that's not too bad. I mean, that's definitely something that we can use anyway, or at least we can sell at bare minimum. We get a Dequel Jackson there. Um, so yeah, that that actually caught me off guard there. For, at first, I thought I pulled the damn Tony Boselli, but it was not to be. Clickwood is not pulling any damn limited edition elite players this year. I'll tell you that much. I don't know why. It just is not happening for me, man. Let's keep scrolling through and try and pull something decent here, though. And we get an Amir Abdullah. Not really anything spectacular there. A Kendall Wright. Not anything great there either. Continuing forward. Come on, man. We just need one great pull. One time. Let's go one time, man. Come on, Tony Boselli. You're not even worth that much. You're worth like 165000 at this point. It would be great to pull that. We do get a gold version of Joe Hayden, which is an 84 overall. So one of the higher golds that you can pull. We also get a punter there, a Jordan Berry. So we'll continue on trying to pull one of these things. It would be great to get the Paul Krause, man. I mean, he was definitely um, one that I was not expecting at all. But EA's, I think, done a very, very good job this year. For all the crap that a lot of us give them on uh, not having great pack odds this year and things like that, in fairness to them, they have done a great job of introducing new legends. Now, I don't know if that's because they spent more money and they went out there and actually, uh, you know, bought the rights to these guys. I don't know if these guys just decided that they want to have their, you know, stuff in the game. I mean, some of these guys aren't even alive anymore. So, it, you know, you'd have to go to their families or the people who own their estates and things like that. But... I mean, I, I just think it's cool that they've done a really cool job of adding guys that we've never had in the game before. I don't think we've ever had Tony Boselli or Paul Krause in the game. So, you know, it's definitely nice to add new guys to the game and uh, new versions of players that we've never seen before. Um, obviously, this isn't as exciting as getting like a Randy Moss like we had last week and a freaking Michael Strahan. I mean, that was one of those weeks where they just went all out. They could have definitely done Randy Moss with uh, Tony Boselli and Paul Krause with, um, or maybe the opposite, maybe Randy Moss with Paul Krause and... Uh, the Tony Boselli with the Michael Strahan to kind of have an offensive and de a defensive elite player uh, with a legend, but it's kind of crazy to me that they went last week all out with those two. I don't know how much money they made on it. Obviously, I think those are two of the most sought after legends every year. Strahan's always a freaking beast, and of course, Randy Moss hasn't been in the game since what Madden 25, like we said. So he was definitely somebody that was at the top of the list for players that everybody wanted. I mean, even if you weren't, it would get a gold football elite or uh, outsiders player there. And then also a Chris Long. But even if you were somebody who wasn't like a huge Randy Moss fan when he played, it was cool to play with Randy. It's always cool to play with Randy Moss just because he's super fast and he's six foot four. So, you know, it's kind of weird that they decided to put him and Strahan together, I think. Um, you know, given that some of these other ones are maybe not as exciting to the players that are younger. I don't think a lot of people that are, you know, young people, 16, 18 years old, or maybe younger, they haven't really seen either of those players play or haven't really heard a lot of those players, Tony Baselli and, um, and we get a Max Strong collectible there. Not too bad. Um, probably haven't even heard of Paul Krause. Maybe you've heard of Tony Boselli, but either way, I mean, they're not super exciting for you. So it's kind of interesting that they didn't mix them both in with somebody who was a little bit more exciting for the casual fan base. But anyway, continuing on trying to pull these things, guys. Uh, haven't really gotten a whole lot here. Will Hill got a couple decent collectibles, I guess, but that's really about it. No even base elite player, unfortunately. Probably pull one or two more pro packs here, and then I think we're going to go for it. We're going to go with a legend, legendary pack and try and get ourselves one of these damn elite players for once. We get a uh, Kevin Zietler there, so an 84 overall. Another decent gold player, but not anything spectacular. Let's do one more pro pack, guys, and then we'll wrap it up with that legendary pack. That's our best opportunity to try and actually pull something decent here. So we'll go from the back for the rest of this pack. Come on. One time. Let's go. Nothing. Give me an elite. Damn it, Trey Mason. You troll me all the time. All right. 
That is the pro pack sets. Now let's go through here, guys, and we'll pull our legendary pack. Again, guys, this does guarantee us a gold version of a, of a legend player. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to pull anything great. The gold legend players, the highest ones are like 10K, so it's really not anything spectacular. You really do have to pull one of the elites to get anything decent. Uh, but it does guarantee five gold or better players and two legend items as well. So we could get ourselves one of the elite players out of those legend items as well. So with that said, let's go through here. It is 90,000 coins. It's a complete waste of coins. I highly recommend against this, guys, before we even... Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. We get ourselves a Tom freaking Brady. Guys, if you guys don't know, Tom Brady is one of the players that I am just like enamored with I think he's the best quarterback of all time definitely one of the better elite players that we could pull and I'm saying that like right as I'm opening up the pack and saying don't open these because they're always a ripoff like anytime you open up packs with coins it's almost always going to be not worth it this card alone is definitely not going to make it worth the packs so we still have to go from here but this is a nice start it's definitely a nice start to have a Tom Brady the greatest quarterback of all time Tommy Smiles that is a nice pull, man. I'm definitely happy to have that. That's probably, is it the, it might be the best base elite pull that I've had all year. So I'm very happy about that. And we get another elite. Let's go. It is a Ray Nitschke collectible. Okay. Starting off strong though with two elite players or two elite uh, pulls anyway. A Tim Brown collectible. So that is our legend guarantee. Unfortunately, not anything great there. We still got some opportunities here though. We still got some slots that we can pull elite players in. We get Eugene Monroe. But again, guys, even if I pull anything amazing here, I highly recommend against this. I just do it for videos because it's fun, and I have, you know, coins that I'm probably never going to spend, to be honest with you. Tyrod Taylor, come on. Sean Williams, come on, baby. We're getting down there, man. I don't think we even really have much for uh, pulls that we could potentially get here. Jordan Matthews, that's probably our bat last gold. So, come on. Marvin Harrison collectible, damn it, and I think this is going to be something base, so yeah, unfortunately, we don't pull anything real amazing, we do get to Tom Brady, though, definitely one of my best uh, players that I have pulled this year, very, very happy about that, but that is going to do it for this video, guys, hopefully you have a little bit better luck than I did in your pack openings, I'm really hoping that one of you guys pulls one of the 24-hour, what is it, 48-hour limited edition players, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.